Okay, so today I busted my water pump bypass hose. I don't know if you can see it down there. You sure hear it. See that little guy down there leaking. So I gotta change that tiny little hose. Oh, there went my phone. Okay, so the phone's down off in the engine. So I'm gonna have to fish that out. Anyway, at least you got to see the the bypass hose leaking. So here we can actually see the leak dripping down the ground here. My bypass hose busted. So there you have it. So I'll be changing that, and that's what we'll be seeing next. Okay, I got the little pipe off that goes to that bypass hose. Here it is. That's what was busted. So, sorry I didn't show you all the details on how to get it off, but I'll show you what I did. The first thing you want to do is take off one bolt that holds on the dipstick. Take the dipstick off. That's number one. Number two, there is a bolt that holds the harness here, the wiring harness for the fuel injection. There's two bolts. There's one that mounts right on your pipe here for your bypass. We're going to take that nut off and there's also another bolt in the middle connection right here. Take that bolt off okay and that will allow your your harness here to move so you can take it off of this uh, this stud on the pipe. Once that's done there are two flange bolts here that hold the pipe onto the block that's what you take a loose. Once you take that a loose, depress um, one or both of these little hose clamps and you can pull the pipe right off. And from there you just take your pipe, put the new piece of hose on, and reinstall. Now here's the funny part. I went to purchase this hose. Unless you get it from the dealer, this little three or four inch hose, you got to buy three feet of it. They won't sell it to you by the small piece. And this is not regular radiator hose. You cannot use regular radiator hose. Let me show you, actually. This is a special kind of hose that can withstand high pressures and high temperatures beyond that which normal, normal uh, radiator hose has to deal with because it's coming right off the pump. High pressure. So you cannot just get radiator hose, and I think this is what somebody put on in my car, because I didn't put this on here. And it finally just swole up, see how it bulged here, and then it busted. So no, do not use radiator hose on this application, even though it does carry coolant. Radiator hose is not strong enough. This hose has reinforcements. See these, these, uh, these threads around in here? It's reinforced and it's wrapped. And it's this high pressure, high temperature hose. So make sure you get the bypass hose for the water pump, not just regular radiator hose. Okay? All right, Engineer Boy 100 signing off. I just wanted to throw this quickie in here. Um, you should look up my other t uh, three videos that are coming out for the Porsche. I'm going to do some heavy, heavy uh, projects. I'm going to do the bearings for the rear wheels, the bearings for the front wheels the brakes for the front, the brakes for the rear, and I'm going to change the front to CV, the constant velocity CV boots. So stay tuned and stay dirty, as Eric the car guy would say, stay dirty. Okay, that's it.